Hi, welcome back to Sermons by Dale Dudgeon. I hope you're having a good day. We're going to depart today from our usual devotional thought. I'd like to preach a little bit on this coronavirus situation. You know, there are a lot of people that are really afraid of this coronavirus, and I'm sure there are people right now sitting at home behind a giant wall of toilet paper, bottled water, and hand sanitizer that are just deathly afraid of this situation. And I'm sure that there are people who went to great pains, who left Walmart with buggies filled with toilet paper, bottled water, hand sanitizer, other necessities, uh, preparing for uh, dealing with this pandemic. But I wonder how many of those people who were wheeling their buggies out of Walmart loaded with necessities, I wonder how many of those people hadn't darkened the church house door in years. You know, there are certain things in life we should certainly be afraid of. As a matter of fact, Jesus said this in Luke chapter 12, verse 5, But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him which after he hath killed hath power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. You know, there are a lot of people that are afraid of this coronavirus, and it certainly seems deadly, but we're all going to die of something. It says in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. You know, we're all going to face God someday. And the preparation that we need to be making is to face God and to meet Him someday. And if we're prepared to meet the Lord, we don't have to be afraid of anything else. You know, there's a saying that goes something like, the fear of God is the fear that cast out all others. So as you've made preparation for this coronavirus and as you think about uh, being careful about how you live because of this coronavirus, I want you to be thinking about being careful about how you live because someday you're going to face the judgment throne of God, and that's really what matters. Also with this coronavirus, I think there are going to be two kinds of people. I think there are going to be people that, uh, after they go through this coronavirus, say, well, I really don't need to be in church. I've got church on the computer. I can tune in to whatever church I want to go to on any given Sunday and watch church in the comfort of my own home. But I'll tell you, folks, there's nothing like being with God's people and being able to fellowship face-to-face -face and person-to-person. -person. You know, this is nothing new. People have been using the television as that excuse for years. They say, well, I don't need to go to church. I can watch Reverend so-and-so on the television. And I hope with all the virtual church services and reaching out to people through the Internet, I hope that doesn't become an excuse for a lot of people to absence themselves from the Lord's house. And I think there are another kind of people that as they're going through this, we'll make promises that, to the effect of, Lord, I promise if you'll get me through this coronavirus that I'll be in church every Sunday and I'll get back to church and do what I need to do. Well, if you're one of those people making that promise, I hope you keep it. And I hope you appreciate just how wonderful it is to be able to be around people of like precious faith, to fellowship face to face, to shake hands, to hug one another, and uh, to be together and uh, to... Uh, Worship the Lord with our voices and hearts united. And when we can hear everybody else praying and singing, that really is important. So as you go through this coronavirus, I hope that you get your priorities straight. I hope that you don't get overcome by this fear of the coronavirus. And I hope that you place your reverence and fear of the Lord above everything else. And secondly, I hope you don't let this coronavirus uh, have a negative effect on your church attendance. But I hope that when it's over, we all... Uh, get more determined to be back in the Lord's house. And I hope God blesses you and keeps you and yours until we can talk together again.